In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble the single pin escapement. All the files can be purchased from jbvcreative.com. If you haven't yet, get those files printed. You will need some additional parts to assemble this escapement. The full parts list is included in the download package. You will also be needing a screwdriver and a hammer. Let's start by hammering a bearing into the top of the pendulum. Hammer it lightly, it should go in, plastic is soft. Next, grab your spool, pop that onto the post on the base, followed by the pin wheel. And then use a C-clamp to secure everything in place. Using an M4 by 12 millimeter screw that goes in through the back of the pendulum, Hold that in place with your screwdriver, throw two washers on the end of the screw, and then that will screw into the hole in the top of the base. Make sure everything swings freely. Next grab your string, and that will slide from right to left through the hole in the spool. Pull the other end through, and tie a big knot on the end of this. I don't have any specific knot to use, just make sure that it doesn't go back through when you pull the string back. Grab your fillable weight and fill it with some weight. Anything goes here, just stuff that's heavy enough to give it a little bit of mass. Could be extra hardware, ball bearings, extra bearings, and cap the end of it off. Tie the other end of the string through the top of the fillable weight and secure everything with a knot. Grab your pulley extension and throw the pulley onto the post. Use a C-clamp to hold that in place. Next, we're going to assemble the pendulum. So let's start with the adjuster piece that screws onto the end of the fully threaded rod. Drop the weight on and then an adapter piece on the other end of that. Now this extension is optional, but if you're using it, screw it into place. Screw the other adapter into place on top of that. And then we're gonna attach the entire pendulum to the escapement. And once that's on, we're ready to move to the wall. Line up your wall mounting guide in whatever position that you want and make sure that it's perfectly straight using a level. Then mark the holes with a pen or a marker. Using whichever wall mounting method that you want, screw the wall anchors into the wall. Here I just have pre-drilled holes and I'm screwing directly into the drywall and it's strong enough to hold the escapement up. Make sure that the wall anchors are super tight and then screw the wall posts directly onto the anchors. One thing to note is the posts with the longer end pieces are on the left here. That'll make sense in a second. Slide the escapement onto the posts. And then the extension goes onto the left side posts with the pulley face in the wall. Use four C-clamps to secure it in place. And then route the string underneath the extension and over the pulley. This is how you wind up the escapement and then you release the weight and the escapement will start doing its thing. Enjoy.